Hello. Hello Randy, there. I wish you luck. I really do. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Underground. On today's show, we are playing Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, which is coming to PS4 on February 23rd. I am joined by Cyrus and Randy from Bandai Namco. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Hey, hey. how's it going, Ryan? It's good. good to see you again. Great to be here. Thanks Great to be us. here. It's been a while since some Gundam recordings yeah. that we had. So. Yeah, now we're back with a new game, uh, Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. It's coming out February 23rd. Mm -hmm. Really, really awesome awesome uh, Japanese RPG uh, from the Sword Art Online franchise. And uh, Randy, to my left over here, is the brand manager on the title, and he is absolutely uh, running through this map right now. <laughs> Randy, yeah. are you? I think that's Cyrus saying you should slow down and take <laughs> your time and take in the sights. Uh, how is this different from a standard RPG, and where does it fit in in the Sword Art Online universe? So you this want to answer that? Yeah, sure. So this is the the fifth game in the video game franchise. Um, uh, it introduces a lot of firsts for the series as well. So as you can tell, this is a third-person shooter, um, something that hasn't been um, shown in the, the previous video games. Mm. In all the other uh, Sword Art Online video games, usually you were using a bunch of different weapons that kind of... Uh, circulated around melee weapons. So right, you had exactly. swords, you had pole arms, you had axes, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> were yeah, there yeah, actual yeah. nunchucks? Exactly. I don't know. No, there weren't. To change. No, there weren't. <laughs> but you can you can make a, uh, a suggestion to yeah. Bandai Namco community Great. team and I will maybe send, if you guys could pass that I'll along. Send that in. Yeah, yeah, nunchucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but in this game, you actually have the option to do both from melee weapons to a bunch of different uh, types of artillery, from rifles to shotguns to pistols. Uh, but you also have the melee weapon options as well, like a photon sword, yeah. awesome. um, which Kirito is known for in the uh, Gun Gale series. He actually has this photon sword, and he's able to deflect all these bullets, which you can do in the game as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's an important kind of anchor point that we should go through. If, if folks aren't familiar with Sword Art Online, obviously this is a huge anime franchise. Right. Um, you know, very well loved to a lot of people, but the third arc in the in the story is kind of set in uh, this sort of, uh, I want to say like a, a projectile-based MMORPG, right? So right. we're kind of in the third arc of the anime. That's where this game is set, correct? Right, exactly. And, yeah. and uh, one of the... One of the big things about this game, Randy had alluded to it earlier uh, about this game having a lot of firsts, is that you're actually your own created mm -hmm. custom character in this one. Um, in all the other Sword Art games, you were really following Kirito's story because, right. as we all know, if you are a Sword Art Sword Art fan like myself, uh, Kirito was always the the hero. Of oh, the story. absolutely! Every every single day it revolved around Kirito. You're saying uh, every single day was Kirito day? Every single day was <laughs> yeah. Kirito day. All day. All day, every day. All day, every day. Right. Uh, but in this one, you but get to create. But not today. <laughs> but not today. We're here. Uh, in this one, you get to create your own custom character, and all of your choices uh, actually uh, will determine what type of story you're going to have. Awesome. And then tell me this. If someone has not kept up with the Sword Art Online franchise, and I think this was actually my question in our last recording uh, for Sword Art, can they kind of jump in here and get a sense of it since they're playing, you are playing kind of yourself as your created character. So I feel like that's kind of a fresh start for folks, right? right. Yeah, definitely. Randy, you want to speak to that? Yeah, definitely. Um, because it revolves around you, it's, it's great because uh, you get to learn about everything within the world, and then you get to meet all the familiar characters, and they give you a pretty good background to who everybody is. Okay, good. Very good. And I like that this uh, the battle system already seems very, very uh, you know kinetic and action oriented. So that's that's a fun departure from some other R RPG styles. Nice little refreshing change of pace. Yeah, there's a very. Uh, oh, you're slipping and sliding. You're going all over the place, he's Randy. Got, he's Watch out, Randy. You were really good at this game, I have to say. Maybe it's because you work at the company. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of really dynamic gameplay elements in Fatal Bullet that are newly introduced to the series. Like you just saw, there's this little sliding shot that you can do, which allows you to slide under your opponent, slide under these robotic enemies that you're cool. fighting, and get to the other side, and then kind of switch up your style of gameplay. Um, Randy hasn't shown too much of it yet, but there's also uh, this technique 
that you have, or this tool that you have called the UFG. Uh, it stands for the Ultimate Fiber Gun, and uh, yeah. that will al actually allow you to grapple onto different surfaces and basically uh, grapple from side to side, get to different high spaces so that you can snipe somebody. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of really cool dynamic elements in in this game to to really leverage to yeah. show whatever type of gameplay you wanna you wanna show. And it looks like there's some grenade play as well at work here. So that's fantastic. I don't know if you guys are at liberty to speak a little bit about the kind of the the more RPG systems, the leveling up, the items, the unlocks. I mean is that something you guys can speak to? How does that fit in? Yeah, um, let me take down this guy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can show you You're right like, here. I'm a we, little busy right we now. We don't want you to be uh, we don't want you to be too yeah. worried about your gameplay, Randy. You are you are really doing big. So yeah, well. like like most RPGs, you can gain character points and you can put them towards different uh, abilities, and that kind of dictates your your class per se. Um, so if you want to be like more of an assault or more of a, like a tank, you can um, basically control how you progress your character. Right, absolutely. I like how your party is just rapidly talking to each other as we are going <laughs> through the stats. Yeah. They, they had no time to waste in that conversation. Um, yeah, that's great. Do you want to walk a little bit through like the, uh, are these all buffs and debuffs next to your, the party list right there? Is yeah, that what we're looking at? Yeah, so uh, next to the party list, actually, if, if you want to speak on that, it's it's up to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, the thing in the right-hand corner that's uh, highlighted yellow is yeah. your gadgets. So here you'll have your, your first aid kit, your uh, your grenades, nice. um, and other abilities there. And then you can switch the, the palette here and turn it into your, your basically your, your weapon specials. So each... Each weapon class has its own set of uh, special skills that you oh, actually get to customize. So like the one sliding one that I had here was for my assault rifle. But if I switch over to my photon sword, they have different uh, special abilities. Awesome. For example, what's the strategy to taking out those uh, shield aut automatons? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You just need to slice them up with yeah. your photon sword. Uh, but yes, those are those are buffs to the side of the characters mm -hmm. above above that uh, palette that you see there, and, and your characters are are or your allies are going to be buffing themselves as well as your other teammates throughout the entire map, throughout the entire mission. And Randy, I don't know if you want to show as well. You can send commands to your team. Uh, in case you wanted mm. them to prioritize healing or focus on support or not attack Do something. not attack. Um, Do not that, attack. That can be useful uh, for <laughs> being able to get certain items uh, from different enemies. Actually, your nice. ultimate fiber gun has a really, really cool uh, little special technique where if you're able to hit your opponent with the ultimate fiber gun, you can steal an item from them. Um, so that allows you to get a lot of a lot of really rare items as well. That is my jam. Just go around hitting everybody with ultimate fiber gun and stealing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're gonna be doing? I mean, in probably. This game? <laughs> I always, you know, in RPGs, when there's a thief class, that's always a guilty pleasure for me because I like to play a traditional hero. But if you're telling me that I can be a hero and also get sweet loot along the way, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of into it. Um, but yeah, I, I love how much there is going on here. And like the other sword art games, you know, we're kind of playing in a, it's sort of a simulated MMO. I mean, that's part of right. the crux of the story is right. that all these characters are playing an MMO. So what you're seeing here are the avatars of those characters from, you know, in their real life and they're playing in game. Right. Uh, and, yeah, and, go ahead, uh, Cyrus. I, I just wanted to make a quick comment about Randy's avatar in this game. Yes. That mohawk. Looks exactly like him. <laughs> looks exactly like Randy <laughs> Lay if you haven't seen him in real life. But that mohawk is so sweet, Randy. I don't know how you cool. did that. You can put in highlights in your customized character's mm -hmm. hair. That is so cool. Only the finest mohawk for Randy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you were saying, uh, there are when you jump into this game, you really are playing the avatars of these of these characters. Right. Uh, for example, you know, Kareha, uh, one of your teammates, is really sitting at her computer, sitting in her house with a. A, a VR headset on and jumping into this world. Right. And that's why I love this game so much in this series because I can see that happening in our in our lives very soon. Um, 
and uh, I, I'm a I'm a big Sword Art fan, so this game is is truly something that I've been waiting for for a long time, as well as a lot of these fans. You're saying Sword Art predicts the future, huh? That was I'm gonna, I'm saying know. that give it, first, it, give it give it give it a couple years, more years. Two, two years. Two years is an aggressive timeline <laughs> for full mental immersion in a game. I will call you. I will call oh, yeah, you yeah, when it hit, happens. Just hit me up on Twitter. <laughs> if you like, told you, I'm fully immersed. <laughs> I'm messaging you, you from the Sword Art servers. <laughs> <laughs> so what are what are you doing right now, Randy? It looks like one of your characters oh no. is down. My Arphasis is down, and I don't want to leave anybody behind. So yes, going back. To no her. Arphasis left behind. <laughs> and what is a uh, Arphasis? So she or he, depending on your choice, is a uh, your partner AI. And ah. in, in addition to customizing your own character, you get to customize her skills and abilities as well. Um, she's kind of like a rare item within this game. So there's a lot of people after it and wanting. To, to kind of get a hold of hers. Yep. So not every character in your party has their own AI companion. This mm -hmm. is specific to you as the player. Your oh, are you going to the final boss there? Yeah, he's yeah. Going. So it just said okay. Yeah, going. Now Randy's got to yeah. focus. <laughs> but yeah, the Arphasis is actually a, a another one of the really special things about this game. Uh, in the very beginning, you'll find her, and it becomes this big thing within uh, the story that you have this rare item, um, this rare NPC, really. Uh, and she'll do everything from helping you with your banking system to helping you store items um, to also just being there to give you tips on the game. And if you are ever stuck, you can ask her for some help or ask him for some, for some help. Wow, what? Hello. Hello Randy, there. I wish you luck. I really do. You're not supposed <laughs> to talk to Randy during this part of the recording, Cyrus. I'm sorry. Oh, God, the toenails sorry. need to be clipped on this thing. <laughs> it is not very good at grooming, self-grooming habits. Look at that tail. Holy smokes. Does it say ghost pet there? As in that might be a, a pet of somebody? I don't oh. think that I could I could have that in my house. No, I certainly don't. Also, are you just trying to hint at what's to come, Cyrus? <laughs> I don't know. I think so. Um, Cyrus, I think there's just a lot going on here. I don't know. Are you guys talking? Talking about sort of the the grand scope of the story, like what you know, what's at stake here, or kind of what the setup at the beginning of the story is that gets players on their journey. Yeah, uh, right now. Unless it's all there's, secret. There's not too much to say there. We want to leave uh, much of it for the fans mm -hmm. to find out, but. I will say that the Arphasis is a big component okay. of that. Um, you know, there's you, your hint. Yeah, there's your hint. There's your hint. <laughs> Jump into the game and let us know uh, if you enjoy the story on February 23rd. It's coming February out 23rd. so soon. Yeah, at the time of this recording, that is, like, really perilously close. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, I don't know if – so I don't want to ask Randy and Cyrus. I don't know if you can speak to this, but there's yeah. that, that power up on the top left that says 41 right now. Is that something that I need to know what's going on there? So those are uh, Oh, Randy's going to talk. Yeah, Randy I'm going to try to do both. In. I'm going to try to do both. But uh, those are tied to your medals, and you gain medals by doing specific abilities and, and specials within the game. So, like, if one of my characters will heal themselves, I can give them uh, encouragement points, and that raises up the percentage. Okay. And what? by getting the percentage up to 100%, uh, it allows your weapon to gauge another another special. As you could see it, the little square box is starting to go up. Yes. And once that's full, you'll you could see a special ability. Okay. And those uh, encouragement tactics have actually been a theme within the Sword Art games. You've always been able to kind of encourage your teammates and your allies um, in order for them to know what they're doing is, is the right thing to do. And that helps just build camaraderie with your team. It also allows you to get, you know, certain items or certain power-ups. What just happened? Did he did he He's yell at you and stun you? so hard. Wow. That's like some of my family members. They just yell so loud. You're just dr brought to your knees <laughs> in fear. I hope your family members are watching because oh, they, no, might, they, they might be I'm upset. I'm going to send it to them now. And it'll be like <laughs> subtweeting. Um, I like I like at least that you have enough room in this r giant room to move around and get some get some good work in on this ghost pet. Yeah. Ghost pet's got laser tail. Randy, did you know about the laser tail? <laughs> Sadly, I did. I still <laughs> ran into it. <laughs> still, still, but you almost got that power up to 100%. Watch out. What's uh, what's really cool about this game, you know, just going back to the idea of it being a 
set in an MMO is that there are all these little things on the screen that remind you that this is an MMO, right? right. Like the little the little text box in the uh -huh. left hand corner. Log, you'll you'll see log. that you're getting this <laughs> action log and it's constantly telling you what's going on um, in order for you to, to have an idea of, of what just happened or what you need to do next, what your allies are doing. So there's really a lot to take in at all times in this game if you really want to be that technical with it. No, absolutely. That's such a classic MMO thing, isn't it? The, the you know, the dialogue to the chat or action log in the corner. That's great. Right. You see that and you just, I think that a lot of the MMO players just immediately recognize that and it brings them into that, that theme. And you, and you love it because this is what we're all trying to get into in two years when uh, Sword <laughs> when Art we're Online all plugged is into real the real life. Sword Art Online. <laughs> And Randy, uh, I see that you're attacking a certain part of his body, or at least trying to. Is that a theme <laughs> uh, in in the game that there are certain aspects of the enemy characters that you kind of need to focus on in order to really succeed? Yeah, I mean, most of the the enemies have some type of weak spot, and it's up to you to kind of find it. <laughs> Laser tail oh, to it the face. Find it and then uh, just take advantage of it. Yeah, we actually did a live stream on this game uh, a little while ago, and we'll be doing another one on launch day, uh, or on oh. the day before launch. But uh, with that enemy that we were facing off, the the uh, location that you had to hit was on his back. Oh. So that sliding shot we would use in order to go underneath the legs Whoa. and then hit the back before he would turn back around. Easy there. You guys ready for this? Action star. Yeah, what are you about to what do? What are you going to do? Special. What? Oh, snap. What's going on? Whoa. Fire bullets. Whoa. Light now it up. That is a treat. Light it up. That is a treat. Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online. Fatal Online. Bullet Fatal coming bullet. to you February 23rd. Uh, oh. It, oh. oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but you might. Oh, oh, you're not dead. I thought no, you were still dead. here. I'm still, I'm still here. Still working, <laughs> doing good work. So is your special still going right now? Uh, Yeah. Is it's that, almost up. Okay, okay, okay. Very man, oh man, that ghost pet is. did not stand a chance. Wow. Against, Yo, against give it up for Randy. That was plotting, impressive. Plotting. Ooh, I need loot. you on my team uh, when we go online, which we haven't actually talked about. No. This game has a lot of online functionality as ah. well. Um, Tell, just me, like, more. Just Tell like me more. Just like the other. <laughs> I will, I will. Uh, just like the other Sword Art games, but you can go online, play PvP, play PvE. You know, if you're losing to some boss and you want to jump in with your roommates or your friends or your enemies to show you that, show them that you're better than them at this game you can do all of that yeah you can um, and that's why i'll be taking down cyrus <laughs> oh wow i thought that we were going to be a team no no team you guys are P P P P okay. either great friends or mortal enemies that's but true. there's nothing in between <laughs> that's true uh randy can you speak to the to one of the online modes a little bit where uh you have to i, I remember that you have to uh, deal the most damage to a certain boss. Yeah, so the PvP kind of works as a, like a king of the hill type mode where ah. uh, it's 4v4, but there's one giant enemy that you, well, both teams have to take down. And uh, while you're shooting the enemy, you have your the other opposing team shooting at you too. So it's really about strategy and communicating with your teammates and trying to get the most points. I like that we're going to end this episode on nice robo scorpions. <laughs> no no greater no greater period to the punk, you know punctuation mark than a robo scorpion in a beautiful forest. In a mm. beautiful forest. Gor and beautiful forest with a uh, you know m an interesting tower structure uh, looming off in the distance there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I don't know if that's just set dressing or if that's maybe part that's of Maybe that's part of the story. Oh, maybe. maybe. I don't know who's saying. Nobody's saying yeah, anything. Yeah, nobody's here. saying. Yeah, nobody's saying anything. But jump in February 23rd. Yeah. You are you plugging that date hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, par Cyrus and Randy, parting thoughts uh, to you know the Sword Art community and to uh, prospective gamers that might be looking to pick this one up. What do you think? You know, I, I think for any Sword Art fan or any RPG, uh, JRPG fan, I think this is a great uh, turning point for the series as it introduces a lot of uh, new abilities and mechanics that allow you to just jump in and, and be your own character and be the hero of the story. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I will say that this has the best character customization we've ever seen in a Sword Art game. 
Um, and that's one of the things that people have wanted for so long within the sword art community. And for me as well, I've been really, really excited about just how awesome the character customization is in this game. Because that's one of the biggest points of an MMO is to be able to show your own personality in this awesome. game. Um, so yeah, pick it up. We're really excited for everybody to have it. Um, and, and we want to hear what you guys think of the game. So let us know on all of our social channels at Bandai Namco US. Beautiful. Cyrus, Randy, thank yeah. you gentlemen so much Thanks. for being here today. Uh, Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet out February 23rd on PS4. And uh, thank you for watching us. And until next time, uh, we will see you on PlayStation Underground. Bye, guys. Bye. PlayStation.